everybody this is Tina welcome to my video today we are going to do another monochromatic card so I've been doing a little series here on Mondays where I share with you really simple cards but we're using a certain technique so a couple weeks ago I did a monochromatic card with mint macaroon and we used a rose stamp set last week I talked about using designer series paper on your cards um, I'll link those cards above if you guys want to um, see them so so today I want to do another monochromatic card, which monochromatic just means we're going to use all the same color. Um, we're going to use the same color ink and cardstock and paper and all of that. So we're going to use the Butterfly Gala, um, Gala uh, stamp set and then um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a Whisper White piece of cardstock. And I have that. So now the next thing that I've done is I've taken a piece of Bermuda Bay, that's gonna be our focal color today, is Bermuda Bay, which you guys know that's my favorite color. Um, it's, our, it's my favorite color in the Stampin' Up! line. My studio uh, has a wall that is painted in this color. I love it so much. And then I have taken a embossing folder and it doesn't matter what embossing folder you have or you use, um, the point is to just give you a little bit of texture and fun. So I have that and that's the entire front of the card, okay? So the next thing I have is a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. This is cut at three and a half by, it's three and a quarter by um, four and a quarter. And then my, um, piece right here, my designer series piece is cut at three by four. Okay, so it's gonna layer up really nicely. So uh, you can use the striped or you can use the polka dot. I'm gonna use the striped side, but I'm gonna show you how the card came out using the polka dot side as well. So we're just gonna layer these two pieces up. Starting with a three by four layer is something that I do often because it's really easy. So now what I want to do is go ahead and add some dimension to this piece by adding a little bit of foam. Just like that. So you can see that the texture from the embossing folder is just peeking out. So really go ahead and press that down whenever you use embossed cardstock. You want to make sure your adhesive really gets on there. Okay. So the next thing we can do is go ahead and attach this to our card front and again this is embossed so I want to use a lot of adhesive I don't want it to come apart in the mail when I mail this and so we'll put this right here you could cut this piece down um, your card front you could cut that down a quarter inch and have a white border if you wanted monochromatic doesn't mean that we all have to have everything covered in color it just means we're using the same of one color Okay, so now let's do our stamping. So what I want to do is go ahead and take um, a piece of white cardstock, and we're going to use the butterflies here. And the fun thing that I've done is I've cut my butterflies apart. So you can mix and match these if you want. Um, we could use two different um, butterflies here. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to do these two. I'm just going to lay them by each other, pick them up on a block, that will work. Then we're going to take our Bermuda Bay ink and I'm going to stamp these twice. And then let's go ahead and shut the ink and then we'll use our punch and we're going to punch these out. I forgot to do one part of this so I'm going to lift this up and I just want to add just like that okay let me zoom in just a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is take this ribbon slide it underneath and then I'm going to do a knot here and it's going to look like a bow. And the great thing about this is that ribbon is going to move around and slide around down your ribbon in case you need it in a different um, spot. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three of these butterflies, can flip them over and add adhesive, and then we're going to add them to this card. So I'll tell you right off the bat here, towards the end of this card, that this is not my favorite card. Um, when I put, I already put one together, and I'll show you how that one came out with the polka dots. Um, and I might like this better with the stripes, but I just didn't think it was... I don't know, I just didn't like it. And sometimes that happens when you're using a new technique or you're making cards and you're doing something a little bit different. Sometimes you don't end up liking everything, um, but you just have to try it. And not every card has to be perfect. Not every card you have to send out, but sometimes when you are um, creating, um, one idea leads to another idea, which leads to another idea. And you practice, you know, your stamping and putting things together and all of it ends up working out in the end, right? And then this card doesn't have a sentiment on the outside, but we would put a sentiment on the inside. So here's the way this one came out with the stripes. And then here's this one that came out with the polka dots. And honestly, I like the polka dots better. So there's that one, and then there's this one. And then I would love to know which one you guys like better. Do you like the stripes better or do you like the polka dots better? So then my next monochromatic card, I'm gonna feature a different color because I feel like I did Mint Macaroon and Bermuda Bay, and those are sort of um, very similar colors. So let's shake it up and do a little bit of a different color on our next monochromatic card. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll be back next Monday to, to share with you a simple card using a fun technique. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you later out with me today and watching my videos here are two other of my most recent videos i would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will catch you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful day